Um, Jorgen De Castro and Jarvis Adano. Um, Jorgen De Castro six wins and two losses uh, on a two fight losing streak to Greg Hardy and Carlos Felipe. Before that, beating Justin Taffa in absolute beast. I'm um, a first round knockout. Before that, getting a first round knockout on Dana White's Nintendo Series. Um, getting a decision whenever Carlton Little, a first round knockout whenever Raz Hilton. I'm um, a third round knockout when a first round TKO win. Um, most of his wins come in my KO TKO and only one fight going all the way. Um, I mean, he ended up fighting Justin Taffa. Justin Taffa has never been knocked out as a professional fighter, aside from this one fight against Jorgen Castro. Um, but he did fight Greg Hardy uh, in, in this fight at UFC 249. I'm not really sure what happened. If, if you guys remember what happened in this fight uh, with Greg Hardy, he kind of, like, something happened with his foot uh, where he kind of broke a toe, broke his ankle. I, I don't really know what happened, uh, but he hurt something in his foot and couldn't really land uh, these shots that he's usually normally uh, landing in most of those fights. So um, that fight didn't really go his way in that one. He lost the fight by unanimous decision. Um, after that, after that fight, he fought Cor Carlos Felipe. Sorry, um, and it was a relatively close fight uh, with Carlos Felipe in the fight. Um, Let's see if I can see the stats for that one. Uh, 78 significant strikes to 48 significant strikes. Uh, it was a 29-28 decision loss uh, in that fight with Carlos Felipe. But um, it was a very close fight with Carlos Felipe. And you kind of look at Carlos Felipe. And then you look at Jaris Daniel. I mean, there's a humongous gap in skill from Carlos Felipe. Uh, from Greg, Greg Hardy to Jaris Daniel. Who literally has not fought a professional MMA fight um, in the last four and a half years. His last fight um, inside the UFC in 2016. And he is yet to get one win inside the UFC, a draw right here uh, with Christian Colombo, and then a loss right here on um, my unanimous decision. He has zero wins inside the UFC. Uh, most of his wins coming by KO, TKO, but I mean, Jerry's down, you know, he, he's just, he's an absolute bot in the heavyweight division, has not fought in four and a half years. Jorgen DeCastro, even though he's on a two-fight losing streak, I think he's going to go out there and get a knockout in the first or second round. Um, Jerry's down, you know, has no wins inside the UFC. Uh, he's currently 37 and a half years old. Um, I think Jorgen DeCastro is going to catch up with a nice right hand in the first or second round. Um, I'm sorry, Jerry's down, yo. This is going to be your last professional fight because uh, I think that Jorgen DeCastro is going to retire you for good and get a first or second round KO and TKO in the fight.